Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Today, we are gonna be answering the question of where has Dr. Pepper gone? Been getting a lot of messages and comments on where my 1999 Mustang with a Turbo LS and Power Glide that ran a seven second quarter mile has gone to. And the answer is probably not what you're expecting. You see, back in April of 2021, I purchased a 1999 Ford Mustang that had an LS swap with a Power Glide and a large single turbo. The car was primarily used for street racing in Northern Florida, and we had some big plans for it. Once we got our hands on it, we completely redid the cold side and hot side portions of the engine for the turbo, as well as placed an intercooler and two different fuel systems. There's a fuel system up front for the race fuel, which was E85 or ethanol based fuel, and then we had pump gas in the back. And we did this so that we could take the car on drag and drive events throughout the United States. So once I purchased the car, I started making videos about its build and gained some traction on social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube and had a lot of fun documenting the process. And so we went on these trips throughout the nation where we would drag and drive the car. We would join these events like Rocky Mountain Race Week and Sick Week where we would spend days on the road and we would travel to each track, bringing all of our tools and materials and luggage in the car. I didn't have a trailer at that point, but the car was quite competitive and we had a ton of fun doing it. And then I could bring the car home, continue to improve it before the next event. And this went on for about two years until I reached a point where I decided to sell the car. The reason why I sold Dr. Pepper was because I was ready to just move on with my life. I had taken up new passions such as aviation and family, getting married, and things just really started to change in my life and the car sat in my garage for extended periods of time. And I thought to myself, I would rather somebody else enjoy it while this car is so dialed in than for it to just continue to collect dust in my garage. The car was so perfect, the engine had just been freshly rebuilt, the transmission, it was ready for anybody to get their hands on it and can do whatever they want, whether it's to continue to do drag and drives or racing or whatever they wanted to do for it. So I listed the car for sale. Now I put on the post about how much money I had into the car. I had approximately over $130,000 into this build over the course of two years. And that is a lot of money to be having in a car that really is track dedicated and can be driven on the street some as well, but just to continue to collect dust in my garage. I listed it for about $60,000. I ended up getting any somewhere in the mid thirties for the car. It was, uh, it sucked. I'm not going to lie. I totally lost my butt financially on the car, but I don't really care because the memories that it made, the friends that I made, the experiences that I had, the YouTube, the Facebook, the Instagram, all the fun stuff we did with it, t-shirts, whatever, it was worth every single penny and I would do it over again with my new interests. And so that's what my plan is. The car was sold to a guy named Micah and Micah has renamed Dr. Pepper to Michelada or Michelada, which is a beverage in the Hispanic culture. And he lives in Las Vegas and continues to race the car quite frequently. And let me tell you, he's doing really good with it. He's made a few changes, which we knew and we had talked about after he got familiar with the car. He changed some of the fuel system. He deleted the street side of the fuel system and made the car a lot lighter, as well as adding long travel suspension to the front because he replaced the radial that I ran on to Hoosier Slicks because he's no preparation in the car. He's doing darn well with it. He's been racing it quite a few weekends since he got it a few months ago and I'm really excited with him. I've included a link in the description below of his Instagram so that you can continue to follow along on Michelada and enjoy the car as much as I did following along and give him some support. He deserves it. He's a good guy and he's been having a lot of fun with it along with sharing those experiences and times with his family. So I'm really proud of it. I've gotten messages about how people are unsubscribing or unfollowing me because the car's not around. And to be honest, I really don't care. I'm posting content that's more appealing to me stuff I love, and I do social media as a hobby. I'm documenting my life so that I can share these memories with my family to come, just like Micah is doing with his family. And so I support it. But that kind of wraps it up on the recap of where Dr. Pepper has gone. I'm starting this new journey as of today, and I want to kind of share my experience so that you can do something similar with your life and we can improve our lives together. Well, 
We're all guilty of it. And yesterday I spent all day on the couch playing Xbox. I was playing Fortnite with the boys, having a good time. And I thought to myself, I can do better with my life. I've already got a lot going on at the office, my personal life in a great way for both of them. And it's time to get my butt back in shape. I've been grinding at the gym a little bit, but now it's really time to push myself since I'll be in town for a while. And so that's why I'm gonna be starting 75 hard. If you don't know what 75 hard is, you have to do two workouts a day. One of them has to be outside. Both of them are 45 minutes. You have to read 10 pages of any non-fictional book, drink a gallon of water, as well as diet. So my diet's gonna be no red meat, as well as no soda, and that includes Dr. Pepper. I get a lot of heat from my friends about how much soda I drink. It's time to get that under control. It's gonna be a great journey, so let's get started. All right, time for the official weigh-in. Two hundred two point seven. This is officially the most I've ever weighed in my life. I've crossed over 200 pounds until I got married. So if any of you guys can relate to this, let me know in the comments below. Did you call on a bunch of weight once you got married? Joining me on this fitness journey is Winston Mitchell. He is turning three years old this week and he's been putting on some meat on these ribs. You can barely feel them anymore. This guy only lasts for about a five to 10 minute walk, but he and I are gonna go for 45 minutes today to do our outside workout. Seems like when dogs hit three years old, they start packing on the LBs and this dog is no exception. So let's get this guy in some good shape. Brother, we're only halfway there. We still have another 22 minutes to go. You're already bailing on me? Come on, dog. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Keep those feet moving. I'm not a huge supplement guy, but a little scoop of protein after a workout. Never hurt anybody. We uh, I got one big old scoop of 34 grams of protein, and we're going to go on a walk. We can metabolize it a little bit, break it down, get it into the muscle after our workout. This is gonna suck. I just ordered a 25 pound weight vest that I'm gonna start wearing on these walks. Not excited about it, but I've always wanted one so that I can start doing pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups with it on so that when I take it off, I can do it exponentially more, hopefully. So, we'll see. You don't look excited, Winston. Although 45 minutes may not, hey, psst. Hey, psst. Although 45 minutes may not seem like a lot of time. To this guy and me walking 45 minutes when you haven't done it in a long time is a little brutal. So I encourage you to do the same. Get out, get off your ass, strap on some shoes and go for a walk. Start a challenge, push yourself. I am absolutely slammed at work right now, but I'm so freaking excited for this week. I'm motivated. Let's kill it together. Here, this is not the end for my passion of automobiles, boats, airplanes, helicopters, and anything that has a motor. There's plenty more content to come, and I'm super excited to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode of Teeth and Turbos. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench? plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.